All right, guys, this is part two of my PSA card collection. We're going to go through these six boxes. All of them are pretty much fooled with uh, PSA graded cards. So let's go through each and every one of them. Uh, there I am, Chris Chermander. <laughs> uh, you know what's crazy? When you get an opportunity and you can, I, I can, I can sell, I can make two to three hundred dollars of sales in under an hour. Isn't that crazy? And I'm taking time to make this YouTube video because it is important to me that that I show off my collection, why I still have it, <laughs> um, because I'm going to be selling off a lot of these cards. Why don't I sh show off some of the cards that I have already sold? We uh, let me grab them real quick. Here's a bunch of cards that uh, recently sold in my last live stream. I, I, I ended up selling these cards. Let's go through them quickly. So I do a live stream. What I do is I put up cards and I say, here's a here's a PSA 10 Rillaboom uh, starting auction at 50 bucks. Someone bids 55, someone bids 60, 75. Time runs out. Okay, so for 75 bucks, PSA 10. And then I mail it out to them. Give them a free pack, write their name on it, send it out. <laughs> In under two, three minutes, I can make hundreds of dollars. And so that's just, it's just, it's crazy. It's just crazy what technology can do. Um, it is the future. Check out Whatnot if you're not familiar with it. Download the app, follow me, Chermander, on Whatnot because I will be streaming selling off PSA grid cards, Pokemon cards. Uh, here's a drug code. These are all sold already. These already sold. And I, you know, I, I've been, what did this sell for? Like under a hundred bucks for a Charizard? Nuts. I think I sold some cards ridiculously cheap. I gotta be smarter to, to price. I think this one sold for 60 bucks. Oh my gosh. Crazy, 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 crazy. So yeah. I just wanted to make sure that I got these on film because I, as a collector, I want to be able to remember these cards in a video. Um, look at this Typhosion. If, if, I, if I don't own it anymore, at least I have video footage and a YouTube video of it because that's, that's important to me, you know? I, I would love to keep these cards in my collection, but I'm in the mindset of sell, sell, sell right now sell get the money reinvest the money make that turn into more money you know you need money to invest and to make more money right so i am taking a loss on some of these cards um but it would have took me so much longer to list it on ebay and i think whatnot is just amazing it's just it's incredible i love it um Follow me on whatnot, Charmander. <laughs> uh, we got a Pichu. Some of these cards, I I did not really want to sell off, but I did it anyway because I know that with that money, again, um, you have more freedom and the ability to to make some uh, other decisions and other choices. Um, with the money, you can you can move. It's like water. Where do you want to move it? You know, how much do you want to invest in? I'm investing a little bit in crypto and in stock market. Um, mutual funds are is safe, but I feel it's a little slow growth. I feel like I can make more money by putting that into Pokemon cards and I can control. I can just if I grind, I can work and I can control how much profit I make from that, you know, because I, I'm just I feel like I'm knowledgeable enough in this hobby to know what sells. And to know how to sell and you just got to put in the work and it's 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 very profitable people do this with shoes you know they'll buy they'll they'll auction on a shoe they'll win a shoe for 100 bucks in a few weeks they can or a month or whatever they sell it for 200 bucks same with pokemon cards um same thing what is 500 dollars now could be a thousand later so Use money wisely. There is a parable. I forget where it is. Probably in Matthew. Did you know 
the the Bible talks. I mean, the Gospels actually talk more about like money than a lot of other things. Like, I mean, obviously salvation and the gospel are are important, but the Bible actually gives you a lot of wisdom to how to steward your money. There, there's a parable where uh, like this rich guy leaves his three. Uh, I don't know what you call them, <laughs> workers or uh, people to to manage the place for him. He 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 gives. Gosh, I'm butchering this so bad. He gives one guy like twenty talents, another guy ten coins, and another guy like one coin. And the people who invested the money and they multiplied it, and then there then there there's one guy who basically dug a hole, saved it. Didn't make any income off of it, and the master comes back. And who do you think the master rewarded the most? It was the guys who used that money for good and made something out of it. Who I don't know, maybe created a business, or they traded up, or they were able to grow it in some form rather than just in a bank. You know, like does that make sense? Use money to make more money, and it's it's in the Bible too. Like, be a good steward, and and um, that's where that's how I see Pokemon cards. That's how I see it. You know, <laughs> you don't always want to see it as a monetary thing. You want to enjoy the artwork. You want to have collection cards. Like, I I get that too. Like, if someone offered me hundred bucks for this, I wouldn't sell it. It's just I love it too much. But if someone's going to be offering me a thousand bucks for it, it's sold. You know, because money is more important. But in terms of like art, this is just beautiful. <laughs> I love these cards. It's just Pokemon cards too. It's crazy what this hobby has become. It's nostalgic. It's just it's there's a whole community around it. It's just incredible what where we've come, you know, in this Pokemon hobby. We have so many more cards to get through, guys. Uh, I'm kind of just talking about anything right now. Ooh, look at this. We got a Steel Mewtwo. Not Steel Mewtwo. Armored Mewtwo. Uh, this is a Chansey PSA 10. We have Charizard an 8. Charizard in a nine and Charizard in a nine and Pikachu in a ten, Blastoise in a ten. Um, wow, I really get off topic, don't I? I talk about all sorts of things. Um, yeah, just, just enjoy it. I try to, you know, when you have your money in order. I think life is just so much easier. Uh, so use money to make money. It's that's 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 my main point. If you if you uh, get anything out of it, it's enjoy Pokemon cards, enjoy the hobby, love it, absolutely collect it, great. But also use money to to make money. We got a Misty's. Band Misty, this card is worth about over a thousand dollars. A band Misty card, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I'm gonna be getting my submission back from CGC. Two thousand, two thousand graded cards. That's a lot of money just to get it graded. But that's where I I, I see uh, me being able to profit on on whatnot, selling a lot of cards quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, not all these cards that you see are going to be for sale. I still enjoy the the, the hobby. But, uh, so I'm keeping a lot of these cards. Like, these cards, I'm not selling for a long time. These, it's just, I love it too much, you know? I love it too much. But the, the lower, I think, you, I think everyone can downsize their collection. Does that make sense? Out of 100%. You don't have to sell everything, just sell like the bottom quarter and uh, turn that into money and use that money to, um, I don't know, 
Do something else. Do whatever you want with it. Okay. Ooh, this is a nice card. I didn't know I had this card. Sweet. <laughs> There's some cards in my collection I didn't even know I had. <sighs> I need to take the time to just make this video because... I'm gonna miss a lot of these cards and I don't appreciate them enough. I know I repeat myself a lot. But that's kind of the my my this is what I think about a lot. This is what I think about. What should we what else could we talk about besides Pokemon cards? Venusaur. You could sleep powder you. I think Venusaur could technically beat a Charizard. If he could tank a flamethrower, then sleep powder Charizard. Then uh, he can char chip down Charizard's health. Charizard gets all the attention. I kind of think Venusaur and Blastoise deserve more love. We, it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Um, Logan Paul brought a lot of hype to uh, Pokemon. Look at this, Charizard. Um, McDonald's did its thing. We had the virus and all the political stuff around it and stimulus checks and just it's you know it's crazy just what what's what been happening in our world um i don't want to get too deep into political views although i that's something i do <laughs> it's funny it's really funny like the people that i meet and they understand what's going on behind the scenes and i it's just there's only so much that i can say you know there's only so much things that i can share but uh i think people need to wake up don't believe everything you uh you read or see or hear or what people tell you uh think for yourself have an you know like discern what is true um don't be misled or brainwashed by stuff you know uh really really research it and know what what uh what's reliable and credible sources do not just listen to anything that you hear that's you know there's a lot of things happening a lot of things that you know people need to wake up and, and realize there's a lot of corruption in our world and underlying agendas um but yeah pe some people don't like it when i talk about political things or re re uh, christianity and spirituality things but hey that's that's part of who i am that's things that are, are important to me and <laughs> you know it's like well, i get it you know we're, we're, we're doing pokemon cards but I don't think you should ever really be ashamed to, to speak what you believe if it's important to you. And if people don't want to listen to it, they can change the channel. They can do, they don't have to watch you. They don't have to, you know, that's, that's my take on, on a lot of things is uh, you're going to find people who have different views. Um, and, 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 and it really does divide us sometimes. Sometimes I think it's important to find commonality, common ground. And that's what I like about Pokemon cards. Sports guys, they will fight. My team's better. This player's better. Um, you know, you get into political things. It really does. It can divide us. And <clears throat> I'm not, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying to necessarily avoid talking about them. I think there's a time and a place for it, but know when and how to communicate. Um, be respectful, always be respectful. And when someone mistreats you or, you know, it, you know, there's, there's just, there's going to be people out there who are just are douchebags and don't, don't give attention to it. Just like. Don't let that affect you. <clears throat> but but at the same time, I think you do need to stand up for what you believe. 
and as you guys include myself get older reflect on what you really do believe and what are your stances on these things um what's injustice and and what is corruption and what is true what is false you know, who is is there a god you know is scripture true or not and research it dig into it um what you see in the news and and you know is it, you, what do you believe in is it just because your your mom or dad told you something or or you know sometimes we we just follow the herd sometimes <laughs> we we grow up thinking something and I think you need to come to a point where you really do th investigate and ask yourself the hard questions and ponder those things because it's really important and some people just want to stay out of it it's like okay everyone's entitled to their own whatever beliefs and values and views respect that but at the same time that's what i do like about pokemon cards is because it doesn't really divide you it's like mewtwo's a cool pokemon yeah i love mewtwo he is sick i love the art you know i remember watching the movie and you can bond and create positive healthy friendships by bonding over what's your favorite Pokemon, dude? You may not have any relation. You, you cannot relate to the guy in any other way. Oh, but I love Ghost Pokemon. Gengar's my favorite Pokemon. Oh, dude, Ash has this Gengar now. It's sick, you know. Like the the first Ghost Pokemon, and you know just Jirachi, you know, like shiny Pokemon. Do you do you have any? Do you catch any shiny Pokemon? You 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 know like what what games did you play? And you, you, you nerd out. Whether you're on the left or right or, you know, have a different, you know, belief system. I think that is one thing cool about Pokemon is that you can you can somewhat unite and find a sense of uh, <laughs> you can always bond over over it with people, it's, especially when they like Pokemon. If they don't like Pokemon, find something else that they like. Do you enjoy sports? Do you, what movies do you watch? Um, find commonality. Find common ground. Um, you can probably find something common with almost anyone. And let's say they, they like to play music and you don't know a thing about music. Listen. Ask questions. Be curious. Tell me more about, um, you know, where you learn to play piano or what kind of music do you listen to or who inspired you or what made you interested in that what what made you choose that uh career path do you you know like how how you know like learn that's what i'm just saying show interest in people even if you don't have commonality but look for commonality and you know that's what i like about pokemon is because it's easy the, the people that like pokemon I relate to if you like Pokemon we can be friends easily <laughs> I ran into some dudes at Walmart and they were like talking about like some Pokemon game coming out and I we just literally just like bonded and just like it's just it's <laughs> it's just that's how big Pokemon has become you know Dragon Ball and just like animes and uh, nerd nerd things I think it's you can create really solid friendships and that's what i really enjoy about the hobby i love these artworks i love i love this Rayquaza. i've probably showed you like 10 Rayquazas. i don't know why i keep showing off the same card it's just i have i have so many of these Rayquazas because i invested into into this ultra shiny gx shiny Rayquaza because one he's not a promo in english he's a promo in japanese you have to actually pull him and so those boxes are very, very expensive now, like $300, $400 per box. When I was buying these near a hundred bucks and I think he looks cooler than the, the, the Charizard. He looks cooler than the shiny Charizard. We have shiny Rayquaza. When I decide to sell this, I will make a healthy amount of profit. And in terms of art, it is just beautiful. So I love it as a collector.
what else can we talk about? I, you know, I just, I think it's, it's, I just have too many Pokemon cards to show off that I have to basically uh, talk about other things besides Pokemon. Although we could just talk about Pokemon. Did I already show my custom card? <clears throat> Shout out to uh, Sophie Lavera who made this custom Pokemon card for me. <clears throat> Before I forget. You check out my website, Charmander.com. Find me on eBay, Charmander. Subscribe to my YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, Charmander. <clears throat> you can find me on Whatnot, Charmander. Uh, I should be selling my Whatnot right now. People are asking me, Charmander, where are you, dude? Uh, I've been getting messages as I film this video. Where are you? Because I could be selling Pokemon cards right now. I could be making money right now. That's how crazy this hobby is. But I am taking the time. To make a video because I want to enjoy this collection for my life and for my future. So before I start to sell these cards off, um, let's just enjoy it. Let's just let's just. Uh, this is important to me, you know, to show off the the cards in my collection. Uh, I don't I don't really have a good camera angle here. I'm gonna, the, the main point is to see the cards, not me, you know? I think Instagram has been a really good platform for making friends and getting to know people and having ideas, meet, meeting like-minded people so with any hobby, find your people. Find your people. Uh, Cause whatever you like, there is a community for it. And you can make friendships. Um, whether whether they are uh, in person uh, or um, around the world. And I don't think distance should, you know, it does, it is a factor. But what I'm trying to say is, if you have a friend in California or in Washington or Oregon or New York or, New or Canada or India or wherever, you can still talk. That's what that's what's awesome about technology. I FaceTime with people all the time. Uh, we're doing live streams all together. Um, I meet people in Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii has a strong Pokemon community so yeah I just have so many cards to show off guys I got I got this box and I got I got four more boxes to go after this box so I'm gonna try to just hammer through it Too many birds. Electrode. Scizor, PSA 10. Articuno, PSA 9. Articuno Zapdos Motris in a 10. Articuno in a 10. We have Zygarde in a 10. Jesse and James in a 10. Arkano Zapdos Motris. I just feel like it's a Saturday night. I should be live streaming right now. I'm just, you know what? I need to take this time for myself. I have, you saw all that mail that I have to do? I have to mail all of that out. I think I, oh, this is a nice Umbreon. I put a lot of pressure on myself sometimes. I overthink things. Uh, but I try to perform at my best and to be optimal and to have the, the positive energy <clears throat> because when you don't have the energy everything you do is just sluggish and you want to be able to give your best but in order to give your best you need to take care of yourself you need to make sure you get enough sleep make sure you're eating right make sure you're have the right you know healthy disciplines but I think this is important enough to show off my, to take the time to make this video because 
10 years from now, I want to look back on this video and I want to be like, dang, I like this collection. It, you know, if my house burns down, whatever, I sell off all these cards. They exist here on this, on this, on this video. <laughs> what else can we talk about, guys? What else? What else? Um, hmm. I, I've, I've basically covered a lot of things that I want to talk about. I know I'm not really talking too much about the cards themselves. Shiny Mewtwo, PSA 10, Hidden, Hidden Fates. I think Hidden Fates is one of the best uh, sets to invest in. I think, like, I would feel fairly confident to put thousands of dollars into Hidden Fates. I think Hidden Fates is the set to invest in. I am fairly certain that this set will do very well over time. Um, yeah. So if you have extra money, I'm telling you guys, Hidden Fates is the set. In terms of modern, it's affordable. Um, I feel like you cannot go wrong. Uh, people are buying up evolutions. <clears throat> There's evolving skies coming out. Gosh, I really, I just, I just need to do things faster. Giovanni, Giovanni, Blaine, Sabrina, Lieutenant Surge, Erica. By the way, I made this stand out of Legos. I make these really cool stands out of Legos. I think it's pretty cool. Erica, Don and Piplup. Let's go back to this one. <clears throat> it's it's crazy when people like, oh, you're sure, man, you're a dude. I've seen your Instagram, I've seen your YouTube, I follow you, man. Or like, you know, they they, they become a returning customer. Um, it's crazy when. Uh, you blow up. It's crazy when uh, you build that reputation in the community. It's it's, it's just crazy. I, I always try to stay humble. Like, I'm just a regular dude, guys. I just have a lot of Pokemon cards. <laughs> and uh, like I keep saying, having rapport and treating people with respect and having fun to get to know people and Again, that, that goes a long, long way. What, no matter what field you're of work you're in, I don't care what work, what line of field of work, you're gonna be dealing with people in some manner, you know? I think, you know, and, and it's important to not necessarily seek the approval of others, to try and be something you're not, but to offer and to show and to express um, the respect towards people to, um, even if you disagree with them, even if they mistreat you, like to, to show them kindness. And, you know, I think that really does make a difference in life. And so I, I come across some difficult people. I come across some people I do not want to associate with. Keep some distance. You don't have to, you don't ever have to do business with people you don't want to do business with. And the people you do get along with, keep them close. Show them that you appreciate them. Do something kind for someone just because. Misty, PSA 9, Blastoise and Piplup, PSA 10. Psyduck and Slowpoke PSA 10. Kingdra in an 8. Oh my goodness, guys. We have four more boxes to do. <laughs> Look at this diddle. Silly diddle. We have a uh, Ninetales, Galarian, Alolan Ninetales. I, 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 I really do think it's... Uh, Smart to uh, have these cards all priced. I can sell these cards. 
the reason why I'm selling a lot of these cards, I'm again, I'm having the epiphany. These cards literally just like sit in these boxes. So like, I realize I don't really value them as much as like other people do. To me, to me, I can, I think I can detach from them. To me, I don't need them anymore. I love them. I like them. Sometimes there are cards that I just really do like a lot. But I'm coming to a place where I can live without them. I, I, I think <clears throat> people, God, how you treat yourself and your work. Are more important than Pokemon cards. Building a, a support system, friends, I can find happiness without Pokemon. As much as I like Pokemon, I think helping others gives me joy. I think connecting with people gives me joy. Um, I've lost. I lost some good friends too. You know, like I lost a really close friend. And it hurts when when uh, you lose someone close. It 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 uh, changed me, and it hurts to even like talk about it or to think about it because you know you you lose you lose someone that is meaningful and. Sometimes you come to a point where there's nothing you can say or do to to make things any better, and you you tried. You and, and if if they are they feel like they don't want you in your life, then you need to just accept that and move on. And that took me a very long time to process that, you know. And I think we were. I don't know. I think I think I care more about people than they care about me in a way. And that hurts when you care about someone more than they care about. And uh, I don't I do not want to even like talk about this stuff. So uh, let's not go there. <laughs> um, what else to talk about? I really think helping people is like I, I i do listening to people like i offer free like therapy sometimes and i listen to people's other other people's problems and people have a hard and difficult life like you hear these stories where they are in tough situations but there really isn't any clear answer where they are going through very difficult times and and i think if you can offer someone peace of mine if you can offer just your time to listen and to oh look at this mew psa 8 pop series 5 if you can just make their day better and help them in any small way i think there's something to be said about that <clears throat> because we're all going to go through hard times we're gonna go through loss. We're gonna go through um, times of depression, grief, um, very difficult conflicts, circumstances. And sometimes, you know, as much as I appreciate and love these Pokemon cards, you have to keep it all in perspective that <clears throat> what is truly important to you I hope I made that that point clear because there are so many more important things than Pokemon cards. Isn't that crazy how much we uh, as collectors kind of like have taken the hobby. Like sometimes we take it a little too far. Let's be honest, you know, like we go a little nuts and I'm, you know, I'm guilty of that. But at the same time, at the same time, there are a lot of cards that I, I'm so glad that I do have in my collection that I'm proud to have that 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 you want to show off and, and show people and be like, yeah, man, look at this card. It's so cool. But 
I think I'm, I'm at that point where I don't know. It's it doesn't it doesn't I don't know. I enjoy it. I that's why I do a rip and ships too because you can still share in the community. You can make profit. You're still talking about the Pokemon cards. You're making memories. You're doing rips. You're doing pulls. You're showcasing the cards, and you're also making money. And you're you're hanging out with people. So I think the live streams are. I really enjoy it. If you if you guys do not understand whatnot or you know live streaming, then yeah, it's just it's, 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 its own culture, it's its own the different bubble and world. <clears throat> so yeah, mm, I do think personal growth, self development, um, transformation, sanctification, growing in holiness, honoring God in 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 learning and how you can become better and, sh and stronger and serving others and using your abilities and your strengths um to help others and you know become a better person is really what i want to express because more than more than these cards you know i, I, I feel like i'm trying to say this in different ways is uh it's just a hobby you know um, it's 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 not it's, there's, there's more things to to it you know to life and you can you can you can simply enjoy being outside in nature um having a moment of of quietness um appreciating uh good food laughter a conversation you don't need to buy a fancy car you don't need to have high-end clothes. You don't need um, luxury and, um, you know, jewelry. I consider it like Pokemon cards, but basically I'm on the same line as, as jewelry. Look at this Gyarados. Holy smokes. Lance's Gyarados. <clears throat> I hope something I said uh, reaches some of you folks educates some of you guys um should you buy pokemon cards to me the answer depends on what are you doing with the cards what's the reason and the purpose behind it is it for monetary gain is it for the love of the hobby what is your purpose behind it do you have any purpose behind it? Or I mean, you, you just keep it in a binder and then you just store it away. I mean, like, <clears throat> what should you invest in? The older, the rarer, the minter, the better. Um, and if you, most people out there that I meet are just collectors. They're just casual collectors. They love Houndoom. They collect Houndoom cards. They collect Arcanine cards. They just want to have a binder or some graded cards or um, in their collection in top loaders or blasters. To me, I, I'm graded. I, obviously, I'm all about the grading. I think grading is a solid investment. I think you cannot go wrong. It keeps it safe. I can drop the card and know it's not going to get damaged. Um, it feels cool. It looks cool. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned before. All my investment is in CGC. I've basically moved money from stocks and mutual funds and um, investments to invest in Pokemon cards because that's how that's how sold I am. That's how I know that there is just a market for this. Um, it just takes the the time, the work, and the, the determination to be successful. In, in making sales uh i've learned from other people i've learned from watching other people i learn what people want i learn from my mistakes i learn how to do things better and like riding a bicycle you get stronger you build up that strength you build the momentum you learn how to do certain tricks you learn um, how to do things correctly and what happens when you crash what happens when you fall you know you get back up uh, you 
you keep moving forward, you're gonna learn uh, not to take certain roads. You're gonna learn to the where the potholes are. You're gonna, and that's that again. This is life lessons. This applies to other things. Um, strategy and how to um, create a business into how you uh, go about relationships, how you um, go about in your in your job. And to me, it's all about growing and learning and becoming better. Oh no, oh no. I dropped, I dropped the box. It's okay, it's okay. We have three more boxes to get through, guys. Three more boxes. Hang in there, guys. We're gonna try to finish it up. Um, I have a lot of people who are looking for me right now, wondering what I'm doing. And I'm like, I just need to just, I just need to get through this video and uh, showcase all of these cards because I know I would regret it if I didn't take the time to showcase my entire collection of slabs again and i think in october i'm going to be getting 2000 cards graded and returned back from cgc and the reason why i did that again was because the prices are going up and crazy and the demand for it is still high and if you buy a card for twenty dollars and it costs you fifteen dollars to get it graded and you sell the card at $60 what was that $25 profit I don't know if I did my math right um you know or if you sell some cards at $100 and let's say it costs you you know the card and the grading 40 bucks and you sell it for 100 bucks you're making $60 profit per card and if you make if you make 50 let's say you make $50 Let's say forty dollars, forty, mm, twenty to fifty dollars profit. So let's say on average thirty dollars profit per per card on a CGC card. If you can make thirty, twenty to thirty dollars profit per card, and you sell, you sell hard, you get your stuff graded. And again, this is back when the prices were were uh, afford, <laughs> not affordable, but cheaper. But again, you have the money, you use money to make more money. Um, you detach from these cards. Uh, wait, I need to go back. That Mew was beautiful. Look at this Mew. Holy smokes, PSA 9. Holy smokes. Look, some of these forts in the X and Y and black and white, these are amazing cards. I I have a hard time selling these cards off. I don't I don't want to sell these cards. These cards are part of my personal collection and I love it and I I don't think I'll be able to sell or I don't really want to sell all of these cards. These cards that you're looking at now are basically not for sale. Um a lot of the other cards that I do have are for sale. So if you're interested in buying any of these cards, you can, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram. The thing is, like, I have so many people asking me, you have any PSA 10 Lugios? you have any PSA 10 first edition vintage Pikachus or any uh, Charizard? Can I buy your Charizard? And it's like, I cannot. Uh, sometimes you just, say, you just gotta say no. You just gotta learn to say no. Because um, everyone's looking for, for good deals. Everyone wants to get something crazy and, and you know, just... If you want to keep the cards in your collection, keep the cards in your collection. Show it off. Say not for sale. You don't have to sell it. But sometimes when you have a buyer for something and they're willing to to, to come at a price that you can negotiate uh, a really good price, I think that's awesome. Um, some of these cards, again, will go up in value. This one, I want to say, is 7 700 and this is like a thousand I don't know it's like a 900 to a thousand dollar card I, it, it's nuts what used to be like 200 bucks is now like a thousand dollars so sometimes you, sometimes it's smart to ride the wave cash out you know turn it into money liquidate if you can sell a card 
and it goes up mm, so kind of follow it and and, and and figure out hey um, now is a good time to sell this card and sometimes you need to learn to hold my buddy wants to sell some of his high-end cards and I'm like dude no keep those cards those cards are gonna be worth even more and more um, it's just so weird how like Pokemon is all about these cards are all about the the money and I it, it's so weird because yes it kind of does have to be but that's just that's just the world we live in you know and I hate how like you always have to bring up this card is worth 50 bucks and it and you you know but that's just that's just the, tr the truth to it and uh, I hope that you have the right balance of just appreciating I like Houndoom he's a cool guy you know like I remember catching him or I remember you know just like I used to have a dog and you start talking about dogs or I like fire Pokemon I, I, I use this in the, the Pokemon TCG and you actually learn to read the attacks and what they do and how to use them this is a uh, Ancient Origins Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza. Um, you you bond over th like, things like that, and you you know you can play the TCG game. And I think too many people are are just collectors, and they they just want they just want to see the art. And if you just like the art, I kind of recommend Japanese more than English, because if you don't even read the attacks and doesn't even you're just after the art, why not go for Japanese like? The quality is better. It's more affordable. Um, it's more cultured. But I get it. English is cool too. These Lugias, I could not get one in a ten. Four Lugias. I was, I was trying to collect as many of those as I could. Um, we got a full art Mew, an eight. We got Kalade and a nine. This is another card that I'm investing in. It's a PSA ten. Flareon EX. We have Evolving Skies coming out the time of this video which is a bunch of um evolutions and ev heroes came out for a while and ev heroes has just been killing it the alternate arts i actually sold one of my umbreon cards recently for 470 dollars 475 on ebay i love umbreon i kind of regret it because it was such a nice collector's piece and I was I'm trying to train myself to detach from Pokemon cards and to sell it and to make the money. I'm trying to teach myself that because um, I have the ability and the platform and the time to sell these cards. And when you have a collection at this size, I think if you're not going to be holding on to it and you want to sell it, and you have the time why wouldn't you right um when i'm when i'm 40 or 50 years old i won't have the time or the ability you know if i, if I ever have kids or um i'm focusing on my other you know my career path or doing ministry or something you know something else i will not i will not have the time to be the, doing streams to doing to be doing live auctions to be spending hours and hours shipping out things so i do think that's why i think it's smart to sell when you can if you can it's smart that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying uh do i you know whatever you know even if I don't sell these cards off, that's fine. I'll keep them in my collection. I still enjoy it. But if you got someone coming around who's willing to drop a couple hundred bucks for a card, mm, I think you should consider selling it because you can do a lot of things with money. And uh, Pokemon cards are cool, but More times than not, I would argue that money is more valuable, more useful, and more practical 
because as an adult, you can do things more with money than having it tied up in a tangible physical item. I can't go to the grocery store. I can't buy a car. I can't, I can't pay bills with Pokemon cards. So I do think that when you have a large collection, I think you should sell. You should always be, be trying to sell um, the cards you do not need, the cards you are not attached to. Um, if you, if like a lot of these cards, I like, but I could live without them. I, I won't miss them. If you get too attached to a card, if you like a card too much, keep it in your collection. You do not have to sell. You don't. But the cards that you can live without, the cards that are like, like, like I like Mewtwo. Like I'm more, I like this one. I think it, the artwork looks cool, and I like it. But this fort, I could probably, I could probably sell this. I could live without it, you know. And uh, I could still be happy without without it and liquidate and uh, reinvest. Okay. We have two more boxes to get through, guys. Two more boxes. I, it's it's crazy how time consuming this hobby is in terms of organizing. In ter you know, like I have not put sleeves on these cards. I just don't have the time to do to to, to do that. Um. I think now now is the time to 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 sell in in some in some cases because are these cards going to be worth more in the future? Oh, absolutely. But like I said before, um I won't have the ability I mean, I want I want to, you know, fo I want to put my time into my relationships. I want to put my time into my career. And honestly, I believe Pokemon is in such a healthy state right now where I could do this for a living for quite some time. I'm basically a card shop without the storefront. I buy and I sell. I buy and I sell. But if you just buy, 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 buy and don't really sell then you're gonna run into issues. <laughs> you better be having a solid, stable job to bring in the greens. And uh, yeah, I think selling takes a lot of work. It's a full-time, it's a full-time thing. I've been doing this for a few months. I've, I've been fortunate enough to get opportunities, to meet the right people, to have the right platform to do things. I, I feel like I've been fortunate so far, but uh, in terms of all this collection that I still have to sell, it's gonna take me some time. That's what I really, really like about uh, Whatnot. All these cards, I can sell super quickly. So I just need to figure out the correct way of doing it because for instance, if this card is worth, let's say this card is worth a hundred, a hundred dollars and I sell it for 50, I'm losing out. I need to do my best to get as close to a hundred dollars or list it at a hundred or 90 bucks. And, uh, instead of selling it short for 50, because that's how you're going to make, that's how you're going to take losses. So understanding the value of a card is crucial um yeah i am <laughs> i'm getting tired we are almost coming up at an hour we have a japanese baby scyther shiny metagross ex i like metagross um steel pokemon from gen 3 we have charizard psa 9 promo uh, any Charizard card seems to do well over time. 
We have Jesse and James, PSA 10. I do think that uh, people will begin to have the same revelation and understanding in regards to Pokemon, that it is just a hobby, that it is just something you like to collect for fun, and that you should not... Let me show this picture again. That's a nice picture. That you should keep things in moderation, and you should... Uh, Make sure you tend to the rest of your garden and things that are important in life and that you uh, you don't go too crazy. I went a little crazy. I went a little crazy. I bought, I bought a lot of Pokemon cards. Uh, I spent a lot of money. And again, um, I think you want to make sure that you don't have too much of your money tied up that you to make it profitable unless again um, you have other solid means of supporting yourself because yeah I, I think there there are a lot of dudes especially like young dudes who who like myself have put too much money into collecting or into gaming or into whatever it may be and it's it's consumerism and I, I i just want to kind of preach a little bit or to teach about being smart with your investments <clears throat> being smart with your money um and being aware of hey is this an addiction that I'm really struggling with, that I need help with? Is this something that is healthy for me? Is, is this making me better? Is this, make, is this really, what is this something I need? Is this really what, what, what brings me happiness? Is there other ways or other, other things that I want to invest myself into? Um, because more than investing into cards or other, other, items what i what i want to just make clear is you should invest in yourself grow as a person be better be stronger be more loving be kinder be more responsible be more disciplined be more confident and when you achieve that self-awareness and understanding of of who God is and self-knowledge of yourself. Um, I think I think you're onto something. I think that's that's how I would define success. I would rather have um, God, the people in, in my life that I that I love, and uh, confidence and love for myself more than hundred thousand dollars in my bank and be angry and stressed and depressed and and frustrated and lonely and and you know i would i would trade happiness um over having nice things um, you can have a, a happy life making less income and, and just enjoying enjoying the people that you you work with and the people you talk to and the things that you have and being a good steward and living within your means than having uh look like high-end like things that sh that really do not bring true happiness and it's it's weird how like you hear everyone say that but it, it really does ring true and i think if you can have success in all areas if you can grow rich financially and can grow rich spiritually emotionally mentally physically and invest in yourself to become <clears throat> powerful confident whole abundant and to give and to to love and to to live life to its fullest being your best self dude you you will you will 
that's that success and that's meaning and that's purpose and i think you will be unstoppable and i think you can achieve really whatever you you put your mind to but it takes hard work it takes consistency it it takes discipline it takes willing to to sacrifice um willing to put in the time to to grow and to to mature in your your beliefs and in your mindset because if you have your mindset if you believe that you can accomplish anything and if you believe that um you can create happiness and good and choose to to be your best self and to to add onto someone else's life <laughs> isn't that what it's really about isn't that the life you would want to live? Rather than having like a bunch of expensive things and, you know, you can still have nice things and, and be happy. But what I'm saying is if you lose yourself in a relationship, if you lose yourself to a career where you are sacrificing your mental health and your, your well-being, and there's something wrong with that. You know, it's not it's not all about money. And then sometimes it's not all about just choosing to be, you know, to have the health and stuff like you need to also grow and to work hard and to push through tough times and to persevere through difficult times and challenging obstacles, you know. But if you can have the mindset to be, I am happy, I am you know, loved and I'm, I'm okay. And I'm, I'm content regardless of whether it uh, rains or shines or s there's a snowstorm. You can problem solve and you can overcome any difficulties and you can train yourself to, you know, mentally and emotionally overcome any obstacle, any disappointment. And it's going to be hard. There's going to be times where it's just like, it's difficult. I get it. I get it. But I guess my point is um, choose to, to, to be in your best in those areas of, in those knowing what's important and investing in yourself we can really uh, succeed and have true true success in life and true happiness and joy and meaning and purpose and it's all worth it it's hard work it's not easy it's not easy you have to fight for it you you have to work for it it ain't just gonna fall in your lap it ain't you have to put the time into it you have to put the focus into make into creating it so set write down your goals write write it down memorize it look at it read it to yourself and it becomes good and becomes habit it, when you do something for years consistently when you train yourself and you teach yourself and when you speak to yourself the affirmations and the positive words and thinking and and praying to god and and growing in your in, in your relationship with God, and uh, I think I think that's what what life's really about, you know. Because if you don't have morals, if you don't have values, and you're just there to you know drink, eat, and you know be merry, like there's more to life than gluttony and to and just like riches and wealth and um there there's different forms of success and i would i would advocate to choose um true greatness true um self-awareness um growing in those characteristics those virtues and 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 i think that there's something to be said about uh 
being happy with yourself, being happy in your life. And you do not need Pokemon cards for that. You do not. I made the mistake. I mean, I not necessarily a mistake, but I I basically would turn to you know Pokemon cards when I you know I was like, I just want to buy I just want to buy the cards that make me happy. And there's there's it's not it's not like it's wrong to buy a bunch of Pokemon cards, but you just need to be responsible. When you have other things, when you grow into an adult, am I putting my money in my in the right places? Because it's easy to click a button. It's easy to, to buy something online or charge it. And it's hard to make money sometimes. It takes a lot of work and thought and grind and sweat to to make to make a living and so um, treat yourself yeah you know to something nice here and there but uh, make sure that you are not overspending make sure that you know make 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 good investments financially and uh, <clears throat> with the, the the people that you spend and how you spend your time, from the from the moment you wake up to to when to when you sleep, you know, do, don't waste your life, don't waste your day. You, there's so much things to do, and sometimes I get stressed out. I have I have so many things that I'm trying to accomplish, so many goals that it all feels like a priority, and I don't have time to do everything. And you need to just buckle down and it takes a lot of energy and you get burnt out. So take care of yourself to where you have the energy and the means to be successful and do things right the first time rather than having to redo it again. You know, these, these are Erica Venusaurs. I like these Venusaurs from Jim Challenge. Okay, guys, this is the last last box, so we are just gonna we're just gonna grind right through it. I'm, <laughs> this is a long video. If you guys are still watching, I appreciate you. It's really I don't even care if anyone watches this. I I want this for my own documentation, but I hope that the things that I'm saying ring true to you. <clears throat> You can overcome the hardships in your life. There are going to be... Ooh, this is a, such a nice Blastoise. You can um, be whoever you want to be. And there's things that you cannot control that you need to learn to just let go. You know what I mean? Because... At the end of the day, you can only control how you respond. You can only control what's within you and your emotions. And so do not let your emotions get the best of you. And so with a strong mindset to say, okay, something happened and I don't like it and it pisses me off or, it, or it's making me sad or it's making me feel things, negative emotions and I'm getting negative thoughts and it's bothering you, you need to figure out how to control your mind, whether that's through therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, a good friend who can counsel you, someone, or, or prayer, or through a way to control your mind, control your thoughts, reframe things, speak truth to yourself, um, rather than internalizing negative thoughts because that's when depression comes in and i've gone through i've i've gone through my my, my share of, of tough days and it immobilizes you it paralyzes you you become less effective and people notice it and it, you, you 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 can't let that slow you down you have to focus on what is important to you 
And, uh, man, there's so many Pokemon cards to, to show off. Oh my gosh. Just look at these Houndooms. Let's just grind through it real quick. Houndoom, 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 more Houndoom. I like Houndoom. We have Skarmory, Moltres, 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 Moltres and a 10, and a 9, Zapdos and a 10. If you need to just slow down or pause the video at any time, if you have any questions, um, find me on Instagram. I wish I, you know, I could talk more about each of these cards longer. I could really just, I, I love to talk about Pokemon. I, I understand the competitive aspect to Pokemon. Um, Pokemon really, you know, I spent a lot of time in the, the games and in the, you know, it's, it's, it's okay to have fun and to, to have a community around it, but I think again, as you get older, you need to start to think, how am I using my time? Because with an hour, you can do several different things. You can use it for good or you can waste it. And you don't want to waste time. You don't want to waste your life. You want to make, uh, you, you want to understand why you do things. Why do you work so hard? Why do you, wake up in the morning to to do x y and z why why do you why are you exercising and an understanding that i want to give my best not for self glorification not so others can acknowledge or you know give you any sort of you know i don't need that i don't need popularity i don't need fame what I want to do is to to do right by myself and to, to to honor God and to glorify God with how I use my my time and how I treat others and myself. So if if, if that makes any sense, um, use use your abilities, use your strength, use the life that you're given for good. Do not waste it. You have the ability. To really succeed in anything you put your mind to. So I guess as an entrepreneur and, and someone who's learning more about business and all the practical steps is ask questions. Ask someone who's knowledgeable. Someone someone has done it before. You can you can turn any hobby, any any anything into a hot I mean into a business if you if you're smart and, and, and strategic. And you put in the time and it's a good idea you know you have to learn how to navigate what is a waste of time what is going to be profitable what's going to work and you need to try every single door try what 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 works in terms of sales what career path is this job uh the right thing for me what am i really gaining from this am i is this meaningful to me um, and the purpose behind it and, and, and apply that to, to, uh, relationships as well. Like, um, I think at the end of the day, you need to find people or even like in terms of like romantic relationships, someone who is committed to growing and walking with you and being able to communicate their values, their needs, their expectations, being able to communicate um, when there are issues, being able to, um, <clears throat> as, as, a, as a, a guy or a girl, to build a life on your own, having that foundation. So whether or not someone is in your life, you're gonna be okay because you have 10 other things in your life. And I think sometimes we put too much focus on, on that. And I think that you should um, invest in healthy, loving 
relationships and friendships. But at the end of the day, um, God first. Love yourself. Have a have a strong foundation of who you are. And uh, just be smart in, in how you communicate. And uh, just just give your best, you know. You don't have to be perfect. You don't you don't you don't have to be perfect. You just gotta you gotta be yourself. And when you make mistakes, apologize. This is a very expensive card, by the way. This is this is this is a huge card. It's worth like what six seven thousand now. I don't know. I'm holding on to it to see when when's a good time. I don't know. This is a hard card to sell because once a card hits over like a couple thousand dollars, it's very challenging to find the right person to buy it. So it might be smart to sell cards when they are around the under five hundred dollar mark because once it hits a thousand, it's a big card that not a lot of people really want to drop that much money on a card. So sometimes selling things at around, I think the hundred. 100 to 200 range is sometimes a smart idea because even if it, a card does does go up to like 700 in value you're gonna have a harder time finding the right buyer for it um we hey we just went through all the cards we just finished we just finished all the pokemon cards um anyways i know i kind of went and talked about all sorts of different things, not just Pokemon cards. So I hope that was somewhat helpful to you. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection. Uh, here, here, sorry, I didn't do my face cam the whole time, but <laughs> in my mirror. Um, yeah, just treat yourself well, you know, and uh, control your mind. Invest in solid friendships help and grow in your health and uh, have success and not just financially, but have success in, in your own personal happiness and in, in your walk with God and finding meaning in that and growing in knowledge and and yeah, collect Pokemon cards, have fun, um, but grow in that self-confidence to be your best self, to be happy regardless. Um, be a good steward of your money and uh, take care of yourself, the people that are around you and realize what's truly important in life. And I don't know why I'm like giving such like deep conversations about, about these things, I guess, because I, I, we forget, we, we, we're, we just kind of forget what's really important and love god love yourself love people and i think i think you'll be all right so i i hope uh and some of that went through to through you guys <laughs> um you can uh, find me on instagram chairmander and uh i uh i don't know love what you do Give it your best, work hard, stay consistent, stay disciplined. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll uh, see you guys next time.